and creating a greener city. The Baltimore Tree Trust is restoring our urban forest one plant at a time at Oriole Park. Tracy Leong explains how this nonprofit is working towards a healthier Baltimore with eager volunteers. I'm here in downtown for the 40th volunteer tree planting event. They started in 2011. It's something they do to keep our city green. I'm joined by Baltimore Tree Trust new executive director, Mark Conway. Welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us, why are you uh, participating in these events? Um, so these events really help bring um, green to our city. It beautifies our city and especially in some of the staple areas of our city. Um, these two stadiums bring a lot of fans from the area um, and we really want to show that Baltimore is beautiful and Baltimore brings a lot to the area. So trees help green the area and we just want to make sure that our stadiums are beautiful. Who are you partnering up to, uh, with today and why? Today we're working with the Maryland Stadium Authority. Um, so they helped us, you know, um, come come to this area and start to plant and figure out where best to plant these trees. All right, you guys have a lot of events. How do you choose your locations of where to plant? Uh, it depends. It depends on um, where the need is and, and where we see best fit. For volunteers who couldn't make it out today, how can they get involved in other ways? Sure, you can check us out at BaltimoreTreeTrust.com um, and we have tons of volunteer events uh, all year. So. Okay, and do you need any particular supplies or anything like that? No, we provide everything when you get here. We've got jackets, gloves, so on and so forth, shovels. Um, so all you, do, all you need to do is just show up. Show up, bring a good attitude, and uh, get ready to energy. shovel. Yeah, show up with some energy. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, and good luck with today's event. For everyone at home who couldn't make it today, you heard Mark. They have events all year long. For details, just go to our website. That's cbsbaltimore.com. Reporting in downtown, Trace Leong, WJZ Eyewitness News. And volunteers planted 75 trees around the stadium at today's event.